specific regard to the event. I think my first concern was everybody's safety and that's the staff, the volunteers and all the competitors and everybody, friends, families, parents, guardians, everybody that's coming with them. Um, and to do that, my first concern was, well, how many people can we actually have on the site? Um, so I started with a, a, just a very simple dinghy park count. How many spaces have I got? And we can maintain social distancing. And then how many people are those spaces likely to generate actually in physically attending? So with the youngsters event, we're probably gonna get a lot more parents, whereas you know, adults will just probably have them. And the other major thing we did is we haven't allowed people in the building. It's different. It means you haven't got access to the changing rooms. Uh, there are none of the other things that will be associated with the, with the event. It really is more about the racing. Everything has been done online, and I do mean everything. All the entry process, which is fairly usual these days, when you get to the venue, you register online that you're actually here and that you're complying with everything. For me, as, as the safety officer here, the most important thing is we still have to recover the casualty out of the water. The masking up and the COVID issue becomes a secondary factor. Um, and what we're trying to do is, if the casualties in the water, try and get them back onto their own boat rather than get them into the safety boat. If we need to tow them in, the first consider or take them in, the first consideration is can we tow them in in their own boat rather than having them in the safety boat and then towing the dinghy in behind. So again, it's that social distancing. If we get to a point where they need to come into our boat, then the casualty sits at the back of the boat and then we put the face mask on them. The helm is obviously doing the helming job, wears the face mask. And at the moment we're working with family members. So everybody in the safety boat is from the same family. So family member to the bow of the boat, the helm is wearing the, uh, the face mask in the middle of the boat and then the casualty, the person we've got out of the water, sits at the back of the boat with a face mask on. In terms of our safety briefings, um, we do those now outside and we only brief the helms of the boats. So the crew now will remain on their boat and the helm will come to the safety brief it is the last thing we do before they go afloat. So they now turn up, they've got their volunteers lunch, they turn up at the safety brief, fully rigged, fully ready to go afloat. We give them the safety brief and then they go afloat and they brief their crew member from their own family on their boat. So a safety brief with, with um, 10 safety boats out on the water, I only brief 10 people. Whereas maybe this time last year, we were briefing 20 people we're limiting the numbers and we're keeping that social distancing while we're, while we're uh, having the briefing. Okay, we've reduced the number of people on Gyrenas to four and of course we're trying to keep socially distanced as much as we can. So we've only ever got three on the top deck at one time. Um, and we all, uh, So there's one down below who just does all the signals and then we've put uh, three of us on the top uh, one sitting close to the line, take, recording, and me standing well back from the line, uh, doing the calling. We've had a few incidents, but it seems to work. I think you would have to consider who the team was. We've got one couple here and two others, so we're all right. I think if it got smaller, we'd be all crammed in a bit more, and we'd we'd have to think a little bit more. Uh, with, you can't, face masks are probably impractical because of all the talking you have to do. Um, but um, we'd have to think about it again with a, if it got much smaller. A good electronic notice board is helpful for the sailors and then just use WhatsApp as a, um, vo a voice to the sailors and a voice for them to come back to you. The onshore postponement was interesting because we had one yesterday and um, what we did we postponed ashore, but we also put into the WhatsApp and said, please disperse. We will give, uh, I think it was two hours off the top of my head, 120 minutes for you to get back to the site before we would uh, display Delta. Technology has sort of come to our rescue. and we've, we've been forced to find new ways of doing things, new ways of, for instance, registering the, the idea that you turn up and get a welcome pack and sign various bits and pieces that can't happen 
we're here at Weymouth, we, we, we have no access to the main building, no changing rooms. We've had to, it's a COVID secure venue. So we've had to use the technology to, to register, for instance, to register. Uh, we've created WhatsApp groups for all the competitors, uh, also WhatsApp groups for the race team and, and the volunteers, of course. But we're using the new technologies. So we're using Zoom to do our prize givings, for instance, to do post-race interviews with the, uh, with the winners of the day's racing. A lot of these new ways of doing things are actually significantly better and we will carry them across in a, in a hopefully a uh, post-COVID environment. They're just more efficient. Um, there is a bit of a challenge, I think, maybe we've got a lot of different channels running uh, and for the young competitors, they're really at ease with multi-channel communication. We may need to think that through maybe to, to embrace the entire uh, sailor uh, community and population. Uh, some of us, I would conclude myself, maybe not as versatile when it comes to all that stuff as some of the younger youth sailors, but you know, that's fine tuning. Uh, most, a lot of the, uh, the new ways of doing it, I think, will carry across uh, for us and for other fleets. It's been kind of seamless, to be honest. Like I said, I think the guys organising it have done a brilliant job. Um, the, the academy has had its sort of guidelines and, and rules and arrows and so on in place for, for weeks really for us guys who've been training here. Uh, it's always nice to sail a laser, of course you turn up and can be rigged and changed on the water in 10 or 15 minutes. So yeah, it's been really good and likewise, you know, the UKLA, it's just clever little ideas of uh, creating an event WhatsApp group and sort of giving a bit more time on the postponement so that we don't all have to hang around. So I think they've set a real benchmark and, and sort of led the way in uh, you know, in, in future events that are going to be in the UK and showing that it can be done with, with the right amount of thought and, and processes in place.